They're stereotypes that are a little rough to shake off. Marley and Me's loving lab. The Loyal Lassie, or Legally Blonde's Little Chic Chihuahua. Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Freezer Woods, and we're both Gemini vegetarians. But a new study looking at over 18,000 dog owner surveys and DNA sequencing of over 2,000 of those dogs suggest you can't judge a pup by its breed. You shouldn't be putting all of these expectations on a dog just based on what its breed is. It's almost like, don't be a breedist. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but you can. <laughs> Dr. Eleanor Carlson is a geneticist at the University of Massachusetts Chan Medical School, and her team found breed type only accounts for 9% of canine behavior, and factors like sex, age, and environment have a stronger pull on dog personality, which might explain why even big dogs want to be loved like the little ones. That almost sounds a lot like the dog version of nature versus nurture. And we say this percentage of it seems to have something to do with genetics. And then we call everything else environment. And so the best we can really say based on our data is that it doesn't seem like there's a big genetic contribution. So we had to do a doggy beach outside of LA and found two chihuahuas tooth and bean that couldn't have been more different. Their owners say the study makes sense to them. Each dog is an individual just like humans are. And then we met this very good, good girl, California, who stole the show with her tricks. Good girl, Cali, come. Do you think there's a big difference between different breeds of dogs? I think so. Like, I found that my golden is really mellow. But California's cousin Maverick definitely lived up to the name. So we thought he'd be very similar because, like, you know, goldens, but he's crazy. <laughs> Scientists say the reason? At the end of the day, even though they look different, dogs are all really the same species. And most modern day breeds only date back 150 years. A blink of an eye on the evolutionary timeline. And now new findings to give us pause. <laughs> Not the way we think of our best four-legged friends. Okay, now, full disclosure on the question a lot of you might be asking at home. We wanted to know, too, and yes, Dr. Carlson is a cat person. She says she has three cats. She's actually never owned a dog in her entire life, but she also points out that makes her even more objective in that research, and, of course, she made sure that there were dog people on her team as well. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.